What is up guys? Welcome back to the next Freetography Abandoned Resort Adventure. Guys, today I am in an abandoned roadside highway resort. Some guy who follows my stuff, he often sends me locations that he drives by on his travels and he sent me this one and said I should come by and check this one out. And guys, when I checked it out online, I was like, wow, man, I gotta check this place out. So here I am, been here for a while, just making sure the coast is clear. I don't think there's any squatters. I feel pretty safe at this point. So I'm gonna go on and do this explore, guys. So uh, you guys are gonna like this one. Pretty cool stuff to see. Very unique, very good location. So you guys, cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the flip side. So here's the door that you would walk in, turn yourself around and you've got some stairs that lead up to your reception area. Here we've got some interesting old retro chairs and there are some tools laying around. Not really sure what's going on with all these tools and all these things laying around here, but uh, looks like it quite possibly has been here for a while. So that's a good sign. If you take a look right here, we will get a quick what is up guys in this mirror. So, oh yeah, and there's a bicycle right here too, but the tires are pretty flat. So maybe it's been here for a while. Let's take a walk up the stairs here. And here is waiting area in your reception lobby. You got stairs that go up there to an outside patio. You've got a wheelchair accessible ramp here to go up there as well. Here is your check-in area. You've got a TV here. Here they've got a yoga studio. Check it out. If I can open the door, let's see here. Well, I can't get the door open to the yoga studio, guys. That's weird. Anyways, there's your yoga studio. Then here's some kind of an office, maybe. You've got some golf carts there, and you've got some camping chairs. It's in here, guys. Tapes. Okay guys, I'd use my other hand to open this up and take a look, but there are just a number of cassette tapes in here. There's some vinyl records in there, cassette tapes, some movies, and then you've got some more tapes here. You've got the Ramones, and you've got Devo, Yes, okay, a number of uh, cassettes to check out there. Move our way on in. Here is behind the main reception desk. Not much going on here. We do have some uh, some chess boards, some checkers. Some nice ambient music to have on in the background while you're checking people in. Printer. That is about it, what's in here. Remote control. And there's a cash box in there. Got some keys. All right. If we head back inside here, you've got a staff area and storage. A whole bunch of newspapers and some, some screws and nuts and bolts and stuff. There's a mirror there for a quick what is up, guys. Sorry you can't see me with the reflection, guys. Some sinks. And then there's just a bunch of uh, souvenirs and stuff. 
that you can buy chopsticks and rain poncho, a Canada eraser, the volleyball down there, all kinds of stuff, guys. Ooh, and they have these things here. I wonder if I can spell what is up, guys, with these things somewhere later on. We'll check that out a little bit later, okay? Let's keep moving on, guys. Here is the office. You have an old computer here. Monitor, printer, speakers. You've got some modems, a hat, all kinds of cable. There's a number of movies there. And then just a bunch of other stuff in, in these, uh, with some remote controls in there. Got some, some brochures. Okay, so guys, what this is, as you can see, this is a hotel resort. So on the right hand side is your check in. And now we're going towards floor one of two of the rooms. Now there is room one to 24 down this hallway. And now it's weird because some of the rooms are full of stuff like this room, various mattresses, chairs, tables, lamps. And then some rooms are totally empty. So we'll see as we go through guys, what I'm talking about. What's up guys it's like over here this room's totally empty totally empty guys this room doesn't even have a balcony here's the back it's built on a bit of a ravine here and I was in the basement earlier and the building is actually built on on rock and anchored into rocks in the ground Room four is another empty room, guys. Now, I'm not going to go into every single room because that would just be ridiculous. But there's a look at this pool. There's an outdoor pool there. Certainly not very nice, guys. Not a very nice pool. And as we progress on, this room across the hallway here is full of mattresses. See, it's very strange, guys. They've stacked stuff in certain rooms and made other rooms empty. So I will not go in every single room, but I'll show you some of them. There is a room upstairs that it looks like somebody might have been squatting. Maybe still, I can't really tell. There's a calendar in there from 2018. And there's some clothes in there, so we're gonna have to see, guys. Got some cobwebs are all over my head right now. Some nice photos on the wall there. Check out this chair. Check out that chair. So we're at the halfway point and there is a uh, storage room here and laundry room. bags there, dryer, 
laundry sink. Lift you guys up and around. And we'll head back out. It is kind of nice walking through some of these rooms with the doors open because it is really hot and sweaty and sticky and gross, guys. So it's nice when you walk by a room with the windows open and you get a breeze. Some linens in here. Check out these beautiful curtains, guys. So this room is somewhat still put together with just the way it should be. You've got uh, your two beds, Bible and a phone book. Now I will tell you guys what is up guys? Sometimes you guys ask me if I'm nervous in these places. So I do not know what the situation is here or who I'm gonna run into. So I did find myself a, a golf club and I'm carrying it around with me just for my own safety. Let's hope I don't need to use it, but you never know who or what is gonna jump out in, some, in, a, in a place like this. Even though I'm in the middle of nowhere, far, far away from home, you still never know guys. Okay, so now we're at the end of hallway number one. Now we'll go up and we'll check out the second floor of rooms. Like I said earlier, guys, there is a room up here that looks like somebody may have been or may be squatting. So I'm hoping I'm loud enough that if they're hiding somewhere, they know I'm coming. Nice long hallway, guys. Room there. A bit warmer up here on this floor, guys. Looks like somebody made a fort out of mattresses. Fun. This room here, still pretty much made up. Linens have been removed, but the uh, comforters are still on top. This room has a patio or a balcony to go outside. Not much of a view. single bedroom still made up Get your desk here your bed and a quick little what is up guys this room's got a vacuum in it telephone TV Linen's room here, cleaning supplies, laundry.
bunch of TVs in this room. going on in this room guys I think the next room is the one I was telling you about that somebody was living in nope not that one it's this one yeah this is it hello so this room guys some strange things. There's some water, whatever that is. There's a uh, toothbrush kit. There's some incense. Some clothes hanging. And in the bathroom, well, not much. Some paint. But then you come around here and you've got in the in the uh, fridge, you've got some booze, triple sec, and some other stuff. This calendar here is from 2018. A pair of pants hanging right here. And then out here on the balcony, some water. But there ain't nobody home, guys, so I don't know. The hands are all... See, yeah, there's clothes folded in there. Linens in there. So I'm not too sure what to make of that, guys. If maybe somebody's coming, going to come home later or what. Just hope they know that I'm of no damage or of no uh, threat to this person if they're here and if they're listening. But everything's okay, guys. Here, got some tin foil and some glasses. bottle of uh, amaretto and a bottle of uh, 40 Creek Irish cream. Huh. Bunch of random stuff on this table here. Six B. Weird. Who stacks a mattress like that? And I'm going to guess this is twenty six A. Yep. back down to the lobby now.
Okay guys, I'm sweating buckets. I gotta take a break, have some Gatorade, fuel up and get myself ready for the next half of this abandoned resort because from where we are right now, there's another whole half over there which is the banquet hall and uh, recreation area where they would have weddings and events. So we've covered off the lobby, we've covered off the two different floors of rooms, so now I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna take a drink of water, gonna change my batteries, then we're gonna go over there and check it out. So you guys wait here, I'll be right back. Okay guys, here we go, we're gonna head up the wheelchair ramp. And there's the wheelchair. It's always good to have a wheelchair. Head on into this hallway. And this hallway takes us to the banquet hall and the events area, guys. Lots of cool stuff in here. Got table tennis. Foosball. Couple of pool tables. One pool table, I should say. Ping pong table. And an organ. Ping pong ball. Fireplace. All kinds of linens. Pool table's been ripped. That's a shame. Let's take a pan around from the end, around and show you guys. kinds of linens in here. The piano over here. See how she sounds, guys. Sounds good, guys. Dead flowers, sorry, fake flowers. And here is the banquet hall, guys. Show you over here, we got quite a bit of water damage coming in from the ceiling over here. Look up right here, guys. A lot of water coming in from the roof down the ceiling. Got this beautiful sitting area with that gorgeous piece of art hanging right there. Few chairs and some fake fl fake flowers there. So here is your serving area to get your food, guys. Wonder what was the last thing that they served here. And then here's the bar. Still got a beer mug hanging out right there. Let's go see what's up behind the bar, guys. Not much. Everything's been cleared out. There's no uh, beer left laying around. No. Got some glassware still. There's a mirror. What's up, guys?
Check this out. We've got a uh, shot, shot glass chess game going on here. Lots of tables. Here's where you get your toast ready, guys. Here's the toast station. Head back here behind the serving area. We got here Best of Broadway, The Reigns. Bunch of uh, drink menus there. Straws. Head back and see what's up in the kitchen, guys. What do you think? That probably just goes outside. Let's go have a look see here. Yep, this just takes us outside, guys. Okay, thank God for my loom cube, guys, because this kitchen is dark. So the loom cube light here is lighting her up for us so we can see. Certainly smells like a kitchen. It smells very greasy back here. Your walk-in fridge, it's empty. That's good. All kinds of uh, plates left behind. And glassware and bowls. Here's where the dishwasher hangs out. It's in here. Storage room. Bathroom. More storage. Now, let's head down to the dark, dingy basement. See what's down here, guys. Like I said, this facility is actually built on a bed, on a rock bed. So if you look right here, this is actually the outside rock that the building is anchored into. So there's a bunch of rock there. And we'll see more of that as we go, as we go through here. Down a few more steps. Into like a utility room. Right there, you've got some more of the rock built around. The building is built around the rock. Some bingo cards there. And then we go in here, which is like another large storage room, but again, built around the rocks. So the inside is built around the rocks that were outside. Motel art. Just tools and miscellaneous equipment back here. A 
paint. And then there's just more storage all back there. If you can see it, there's a deer right there. Not sure. Oh, he just ran away before I could get a picture of him. I was going to send my wife a picture, but he ran off on me. Came outside to take a look outside, guys, so I'll show you what's going on out here. Stairs here are very rickety. That's a view around the back. Okay, guys, so I found this strange little section of the hotel with just like two or three little rooms, almost like it's just like for staff rooms and stuff. So I'll show you. There's the door right here that goes outside. And then as I turn around, well, you got a bathroom over there, fancy couch right here. Come on in, there's a very small room with a single bed right there. Nothing in there. And then you head on through here, and then you've got another room with a double bed, all kinds of mouse poop and stuff on it, not very nice. You got a dresser, mirror with a what is up, guys. Nice look outside there. Another mirror, now check this out, there's this really strange door that opens into this little crevice here. Watch this. Hold on. Now on the floor here, you have the ground and the dirt. You've got a hole here that goes in. A hole that goes in underneath the hotel. Built within the rock. That's weird. Polaroid. Something or other there. So all this rock here that the hotel is built around, and then it goes back through there into even more of that, which is really strange. It's like, just like this strange little, there's even lights up there. Super weird, guys. Okay, guys, I got a question to ask of you. Should I spend the night here? I was just gonna explore this place and then leave and go somewhere else for the night, but I'm wondering, should I stay here tonight? What do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below right now if you guys think I should stay here for the night. Spend the night, film some dark, scary, haunted hotel evening footage while I'm here. I'm also here to check out uh, a meteor shower. My main purpose of this, of this trip that I'm on right now is to come out and do some astrophotography. But since I'm out, I'm gonna do some exploring. So guys, tell me what do you think? Should I spend the night here or not? Hit in the comments down below, tell me what you think, and I will be back with the results. What's up guys? Okay, it's nighttime. It's a really bright light. I asked you guys if you wanted me to sleep in here tonight, and you said yes. So just to show you that it's nighttime, here we go. Going towards a window here. There's no light coming in, guys. All right, turn off my light here and you can see. It's very dark. So, looks like we're spending the night in the hotel, guys. This is your idea, not mine. So I'll show you my room, where I'm probably gonna set up my bed and sleep later on. Pretty sure we picked this one right here, guys. We're gonna hunker down here. That's where we're gonna to sleep tonight, guys. Put my bed down, and that's it. So I'm gonna get myself comfy, and we'll go take a walk around a little bit. See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I changed my mind a bit. Instead of this room, I wanna use a room that has curtains and a mattress. So, 
I picked this room, guys, room number 14. And I pulled all the other mattresses off of this one. It looks like a good clean mattress. And I put my blankets on there. So this is where I'm gonna sleep tonight, guys. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. So we're just gonna do a little walk around here. Okay, it's nighttime. I told you guys I would do this. Take a walk through the, the hotel resort. In the dark. Pretty dark, guys. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. It's been an overnight uh, overnight sleepover in this abandoned resort. I'm very tired. I was up super late last night shooting time-lapse video of the stars and of the uh, meteor shower for a future time-lapse video. So make sure you guys are subscribed to check out that time-lapse video when, uh, when I post it. Pretty tired, I was up really late and I woke up really early until about seven o'clock in the morning. You can probably see it in my face and hear it in my voice that I'm tired, had a crappy sleep. I gotta go brush my teeth, get some coffee, splash water on my face, and get on with the rest of the day. So you guys know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Loom Cube down below, links to Loom Cube, freak photo for 10% off. Thanks Loom Cube for the light that I use. Thanks you guys for subscribing. Thanks you guys for being such loyal followers. Thanks guys for always being here, for always commenting, for always doing all those things I ask you to do. I gotta go. See you guys next time. Peace.